Hey everyone, today I'll show you how I use World Builder to make custom maps. So let's click World Builder, New Map. At the top, you'll have to choose your rule set. So if you play Gathering Storm, select that. Then choose your map type and map size. And you'll notice here, game modes, no game modes available. For this demonstration, I'll just do a dual map so we don't have to place as many start positions. You can go into advanced setup to modify the default age and position and everything like that. And then click generate. It'll load up. In the upper left, you can modify the terrain, features, wonders, continents, rivers, cliffs, resources, and tribal villages. For terrain, you can choose to use a medium brush, small brush, large brush. Small is just one tile at a time. Medium is several tiles and large. Features are woods, marsh, rainforest. Wonders are sometimes hard to place. You have to be on the right kind of tile in order to place it. For rivers, you can't connect two different rivers, so that doesn't work there, but you can add on to existing rivers or start new ones. Just left click. And then to remove a river, just right click. For cliffs, sometimes it's weird. You just sort of click around until it cooperates. And then resources are kind of similar to the wonders, so you can't put coffee on a woods tile. It has to be a jungle. And then you have tribal villages. Select. And then finally, for placing start positions, you go into advanced mode. I start by clicking player editor, and then I select who I'm going to be. I choose the leader. You want it to be civilization and then choose the AI. Make sure it's designated AI. Make sure this one designated human. And then I add in the city states. So you click add AI player. And then I just select the city state. I, it might work just with any, but I've always just selected. So like I've selected my players. So close out of this. And then you click this here, start positions. And then you notice over here, you'll pick Babylon. Let's start right there on the tribal village. And then you need to place the other ones. So Egypt. And you'll have to place the city states as well. And then save the map. And exit to main menu. Click single player, create game. And then the first thing I do is I go to choose map type and I find the right map. For some reason for me, it always, every map says untitled map, even when I give it a name. So I just click on each one until I notice the players matching up with the ones that I chose. There we go. Put yourself as the human that you chose in the map. And then you want to make sure the number of city states here matches the number that you place in world builder. So right now I have three. I actually placed four in the world builder, so it won't work. It won't load in if I leave it like that. I need to go four. We selected the other opponent in the world builder, so it's not necessary to choose it here. You'll notice that you don't have all the normal options for world age and stuff like that because you already chose that. Click start game. It'll load up. And if you get to this point where you have the option to begin game, that means the map should be okay to play. Uh, if, if you have an error, it'll pop up before it gets to this point. Let's begin. And there we are with our start, all our tribal villages. And I put Hattusa right next to us. For some reason, the yield icons don't show for me. So I have to go in and select them on. Let's say I want to edit the map, change something with it. You go world builder, load map, map one. If I save the map without going into advanced mode now, I'll lose all my start positions. So whenever I edit a map after already placing start positions, I always make sure I just go right into advanced mode right away. And you'll notice that the 
little city icon is there. So we have our start positions back. Then I make my edits, save like usual. And then when you reload, you should have your edits. I'm sure some of you have used World Builder more than I have. So comment below if you have any interesting ideas or tips or different ways of doing things. Hope this helps.